up everybody, it's Peter again and we're going to do a review on the Tornado CO2 BB Revolver by Euromex. Let's have a look. That's what it looks like inside the box. What you get is you get the gun. It's already got a magazine in. Uh, if you lift this flap up, you actually get another two with it so you get effectively 30 shots and all that what else you get you get in the box you get a care pretty much like a care flyer uh, tells you all about the airsoft guns and air guns in general maintenance it's basic stuff in loads of different languages from english to german um, Spain and at the back it tells you how to clean the gun uh, like from so you can clean the barrel shows you a rough idea on what kit you need things like that and what else have we got let's put that over here and you have the manual for it operating instructions really and it pretty much shows a detailed description of the gun all the different parts of the gun um, in all different languages which is good it tells you how to put the safety on it which I will show you and if you keep going through it tells you how to put the CO2 in which I will show you and it's pretty much just on about how you would set your sights to obviously lock onto a target so you're not going to miss it tells you how to load which way to put them in how to take the magazines out which I will show you Right, so that's pretty much what you get in the box. Let's remove the box so we can have a look at this gun. Do, do, do. Let's move the box out of the way. Right, the gun itself. Like I've said, the safety on it is here. You pretty much slide it forward and you can't fire the gun. Simply slide it back and then you can fire it. To get the magazine out, you've got to slide this forward. Don't know if you can see it. You've got to slide that forward till it locks in place there. And then you can simply slide the magazine out. Like I say, there is another two with it. So you have three and just to show that they all go in. And to put the back so you can obviously use it, slide that down until it locks and then it's ready to fire away. To take the, you can see there, there's like a little tang, a little flap at the bottom where the Allen key is. You've got to pretty much pull that away from the gun. Bit sloppy, but you've got to pull it away from the gun. It exposes where you put your CO2. At the back of the actual grip, you see there's already a built-in Allen key, so you can, so you don't have to carry tools with it. I'm using an empty CO2 here just to show you, just to make it safe with us being inside. You'll see there's a part at the bottom of the gun there, pretty much sit it in and that sits in place. And then what you do is you get the back of this, which then goes in there, and then you pretty much just wind it until you actually hear it hissing and then give it that final nip and then that stops the hissing and it's ready to use. For the purpose of this, I'll take this out. Put you over there. And then to put this back on, if you had your CO2 there, there's a little tang at the top of this grip. And there's a mark here. And you pretty much sit it in and then crush it. Until you hear a good solid click and then it's ready. And then pretty much it is a dual action so you can either fire it like this I prefer to pull the hammer back and then you can fire it it's so it's different to a conventional revolver this doesn't move whereas if we look at this one for instance this moves you see the difference that moves that doesn't this one you can actually take it out and you've actually got you case your cartridges inside it, which is why it's different. Oh, let's 
put that over there a minute. Right, this has, this one is only BB, only, which are these, your steel BBs. There's loads of different types of BBs you can get in. Um, I'll put them back at the minute and I'll show you these ones. I use, tend to use these ones, which are brass. They weigh slightly more, but they pack more of an impact, really. I know they're only meant for plinking and stuff like that. Right, what you do with these, yes, I do understand I haven't opened it properly because you're supposed to take this top cap off. I do understand that. What you do is, what I like to do is put these on a flat level. Remember to see it. And then I sit the bearings in. I call them bearings, but the BBs really. Uh, and then sit them all in there. One, two, three. I've only put a few in to show you. And then all I do is run my thumb round each one and then the seated, because they're not coming out of there. And then it's the same principle, slide that forward till it locks, push it out, it's the empty one, new one in, fire that down, and it's ready just that quick to fire it. But like I say, um, the barrel itself on the gun is metal. The It's like a polymer for it. So it's like a high, high grade, like plastic that's on it. But most of the stuff internally is metal. The hammer is metal, the trigger is metal. That's all okay, that's fine. It's something you've got to live with because bearing in mind this gun is only £75 in the UK to buy this. In America, if you wanted one, maybe round about $95 and that works out at about €87. Euros. So it's pretty much a basic gun, you've got two reels. You've got a reel at the top where do do do. If you wanted to put a red dot sight on it, you could. If you wanted to put a bigger scope on it, you could. You can fit at the bottom. You can put torches on it, lasers, whatever you want to put on it. Me personally, I like this look because then it matches the other. I've got a thing for revolvers. I do like them. I like the way they feel. I like the big chunky grips on them. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you across so I can show you what it's like firing it. I am going to use some clips from previously on the channel where I have used it. I've got some slow mos that I'm going to add to this um, and then I'll put you back on um, and then we'll go from there and I'll give you my personal opinion on the gun, how it handles, what issues I've had and pretty much things like that. Right. I'll see you in a bit. Hope you enjoy. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed them videos to show what this is like. Me personally, for a beginner, this is perfect. If you just wanted backyard, backyard or back garden plinking, shooting targets, for instance, it's perfect. Me personally, I'd recommend these, which are, you get a pack of 100. I've got these from Amazon. I think they were around about maybe a tenner something there about so you can get them cheaper if you look hard enough but i seen them and i thought ah they'll be perfect um and then just to show you just there's a couple here just so you know they go right through no problems whatsoever i did have on the on the videos which you will see this going um i did have this red dot on it um 
but I will show you a video on these red dots how to I don't know how to set them up for instance because each one is different I don't know if you can see see the red dot I don't know if you can see it I'm trying to move it so you can see it but I will have a better description on these how to set them up I might use this gun with this red dot to set them up and I will show you how to do it it's fairly straightforward just give you a quick insight now I know it's got nothing to do with the gun but I will show you you've got these adjustments on the side what I like to do is I take a shot and then I take a shot and if for instance if you've got your target set up and it's slightly offset off let's say it's slightly off to the left on these there are adjustments this side is to pull it pull it this way or this way and the one at the top is to pull it up or down on the side on the top here sorry you've got different numbers and it's all that is is so you can make the light brighter or dimmer depending on what you want right back to the gun for a first person shooter this is amazing it feels good handles well nice big chunky feel um, and it just shoots so well really straight and true for what it is for a cheap for one of the cheapest guns i've got out of all my collection i can't fault it i seem to keep coming back to this gun i don't know why i think it's just because i like the way it looks but it packs such a good punch for just a cheap gun i think it's round about 426 feet per second i i think that's going to be round about Maybe two and a half, closer to three jewels. Mm, may have to look into that, but it packs a good wallop for what it is anyway. Right, but I hope it's been insightful for you for this gun. If you need any more information on it, drop us a comment and I'll try and get find the information you need. If you like the video, give us a like. Just and hit the bell to stay notified on new content comes out whether I'm doing something stupid or I'm doing more reviews. I do have loads more stuff to do reviews on. Um, right, and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.